Okay, so for this here video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple bed with a mattress, and then I'm going to create a pillow and sheet using the cloth tool within Maya. For the bed, the base of it, all I'm going to do is create a box with a hole in it. I'm just going to duplicate this and I'm going to use that later on for the mattress. So, just going to grab this top polygon here. I'm going to go Edit Mesh Extrude. Press R, get it in, extrude again by pressing G, W, move that down. So this is kind of like a container that's going to hold our mattress. Okay, so we've got to fit this mattress now inside that hole. I'm just going to go to the top view, make it a bit easier. I'm going to skate it down here until I find it fits, which it does there. Okay, so we all know mattresses don't have these corners, so I'm going to use the bevel tool to smooth them off. So I'm going to go into my edge, select, I'm going to select the four corners here. And I'm going to go add a mesh, bevel. Now what you want to do first of all, as it looks a bit weird, you want to come over to the attributes for that bevel and change that. If you don't have the attributes, so remember select this top file icon to get that sorted. So I'm going to put the segments up to about 6. I'm going to turn the offset down a bit to point one one or 155. That seems fine. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these top edges just at each of the corners and I'm going to delete them. I'm just going to go edit mesh <coughs> delete edge vertex Okay, then I want to select this top loop edge. The double click it doesn't work, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the side view. I'm going to grab that selection of edges, but I've grabbed the middle, so I'm going to hold down shift and deselect that middle, those middle edges. And now I've got my top edge loop selected. So again, I'm going to go Edit Mesh, and I'm going to go Bevel. There we go. Okay, so same thing again, come over to your attributes, probably turn it up to 6 again, and we'll turn it down slightly to 0.333. And there we go, there's our basic mattress. Just going to finish that off by going normal, soft and edge. So we ensure that we've got a nice round edge to it. Okay, so that's our basic bed made now. Um, and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create the pillows. So to do that, I'm just going to get a cube. I'm going to go into attributes for that. I'm going to go to polycube 2. That might not be the same name as yours, but it's the third tab over in the attributes. What you're going to see is options that we can change the subdivision. So we can change the height with the depth here, but we want to look at the subdivision. So the height is going to be 2. And then the width is going to be about 5, and the depth is also going to be about 5. Then well, what we want to do is come into these side views. So first in the front view, I'm going to grab the vertices in the middle at the end of either side, and then I'm just going to scale them out, just so they scale out like that. Then again, I'm going to do that in the right view. And I'm going to scale those out. So there's our very, very simple pillow. Doesn't look great at the minute. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go mesh. We're going to go smooth. I'm just going to go into options by clicking this small box here. And I'm going to set it to 2, which it already has, so that's fine. So smooth. And now we've got 
a better pillow shape. Okay, but we can still we can still fix that. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into class. So this tab up here called end class. And we can have a few options here. So the first one is the small t-shirt icon. And if I select the mesh and press that, that's going to make that object into a class. If I have an object selected and I press this um, icon with a t-shirt deflecting off a ball, that's going to make that there um, a collider with um, a cloth object. So at the start, I'm going to grab my mattress and I'm going to click this collider. So that's a collision object now. And the same for my bed. Then I'm going to grab <coughs> my pillow and I'm going to select a t-shirt. And when I play back on this, I'm just going to set this to about 1000 to make sure. You'll see my pillow actually goes down but it deflates, which we don't want. So we're going to have to change that. So I'm going to take my um, pillow and I'm going to end class shape one and you're going to see one for pressure. Okay. So I'm going to put the pressure up to 0.25. Let's see how that works. I'm going to press play again. So that seems a bit better. I'm going to stop it there. So that seemed to work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to edit this here pillow while it's selected and I'm going to delete the history in it. So when I press play again, um, it's not going to change shape or anything now, it's, it's a static object. Then it's just going to duplicate it by holding Command D and then moving that over. So now we've got two pillows. Okay, next thing that we want to do is <coughs> make a bed sheet. So I'm going to go into my polygons tab again and I'm going to grab this plane and I'm roughly just going to drag it over my bed. I'm going to then go back into my end cloth and I'm going to make that a cloth. Well, first of all, I'm going to have to put the subdivisions up probably 25 by 25. So make that a cloth. I'm also going to select my pillows now and make those deflectors. And we're going to press play, see what happens. I'm just going to pause it by pressing escape there. I think that's pretty good. And I'm going to edit and delete by type. I'm going to delete the history again in this one and modify freeze transformations. Okay. So then I'm going to go into face mode. I'm going to select all my faces. <coughs> I'm going to go edit mesh and extrude. Okay. So I want to just give this a bit of thickness. I'm going to scale outwards and take it up. Seems okay. So our bed at the minute looks all right, but if you go down here, we've got some sharp edges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to mesh, smooth, go to options, I'm going to just turn it down to one. I'm going to smooth the bed out. So now it's a bit rounded, but it seems a bit thin. It looks a bit like carpet's been thrown on a bed. So again, I'm going to turn this into cloth again by pressing the T-shirt. And then I'm going to put the pressure up to 0.25, just the same as we did before. And we're going to press play. Now, since you've actually added more detail to this, you might notice that your Mac's going to slow down. I'm just going to press escape there. I'm going to take that back. I'm going to put the pressure up to 0.3 and then I'm going to put the collisions and I'm just going to go down and change the stickiness up and the friction so it doesn't slide off as much. And I'm going to press play. So 
And I'm going to press escape there. So you can see now that our bed looks a lot thicker. And it doesn't look as much like carpet anymore. So that's how you make your basic bed with uh, pillows and um, a bed sheet. One thing I would advise is that you do play around with the settings within the cloth um, and ensure when you're finished with it, always go edit, delete by type, delete the history, and modify freeze transformations. If you don't do that and then you move and you turn around your timeline, you're going to notice things change.